Hello, it's Adam from Team Help Today, and in this video I'm going to answer the question how can I improve my chances of being accepted onto a volunteering project? So just because you apply for a project doesn't mean you'll get it. Uh, some of the projects are much more competitive and more in demand than others. So uh, volunteering with koalas in Australia that would be quite competitive because lots of people want to do it, so lots of people will be applying. So to give yourself the best chance, there are a few things that you can do. First of all, your profile. And second of all, when you're actually applying, the kind of questions and the kind of interaction you can have with the hosts. So let's look at the profile first of all. This is mine and it's completely blank. So that's a terrible profile. So first of all, you want a good, clear photo. Uh, no pets, no groups, just you, your face, happy, smiley, good quality. So that's the, the very first impression that the host gets of you. And then tell us about yourself. You have 1,700 characters. That's a lot. That's an entire blog post. So keep it relevant, but, but be descriptive. So all hosts will be able to see this uh, when you apply. So talk about your experience. Talk about why you want to, to volunteer. Talk about where you've been, any job, uh, job experience that you have. And so this will be general, um, but you have a lot of, lot of space to talk about yourself. And really sell yourself as well. If you are good with photography, talk about that. If you're a good storyteller, talk about that. Social media, uh, yeah, history of working with, with animals, talk about that, get all that information in. Then across here in the skills, try and list, try and be really specific, uh, try and list all your, your relevant and useful skills, and then languages as well. Uh, if you speak multiple languages, that's amazing. You're much better than me. Uh, and list them because hosts will be looking for that. And then you can upload some of your own photos as well. Try and keep them relevant. Um, but yeah, so you want to make your profile stand out, really, really sell yourself. But be honest. Always be honest. Don't make anything up. Don't, don't lie and, and say that you've done amazing things if you haven't because the host will find out and then that will be uncomfortable for everybody. So be honest, sell yourself and have fun doing it as well. Really put your personality into your profile. Okay, and then next will be when you're actually applying for a position. So when you're applying, you want to read through all of the information that the host has provided. So the overview the availability, the tasks and the roles, and the, the living. So really read through all that because they're giving you a lot of information and you want to respond to that. So if they mention working with animals and you have worked with animals before, mention that as a relevant skill. If they talk about lots of people from different countries visiting, if it's a hostel, and you have multiple languages, mention that. It's really useful, really relevant. So use this information that they give you. Refer to it, make it personal. Do not send a generic application to 10 or 15 hosts. They will be able to see through that straight away. So make each application unique and specific to, to that role. And that's it really. If you, if you create an amazing profile that really speaks about you and your personality, and then if you make sure that the applications that you're making are really unique uh, and they address the, the profile that, that the host has given you, then that will increase your chances massively. So if you have a boring profile and just generic applications to everybody, nobody's going to be interested in that. So really, really put your personality into it. 
address their their needs and their wants and good luck okay I, I hope that was useful I hope you got some information from that uh, another useful resource for you is the units so if you go to the Facebook page click on units we've got a lot of detailed information in there that will give you general background information about how to be a good volunteer uh, so if you study up on those uh, that will give you a lot of information as well okay uh, there will be a new poll coming soon so we will see you then